All right, welcome back to another update. Concord Rangers football manager. Um, as you see, we're ready to line up a big game against Chelsea. Uh, we only played one game without since the West Ham game. That was Burnley away, and we drew nil nil. Wasn't a good performance. Um, had to change a couple of things. Obviously, Ben Rab is out for a while, so uh, played Friday on the right, and he wasn't very good. Um, average performance really from the team uh, could have been worse they they had a penalty that was saved by our keeper it wasn't a very good performance really um, didn't really create much really disappointing uh, means we're now um, three points off the top uh, Man City they beat Man United so they continue their run Spurs has run though recently look, they've gone down the sixth they are an awful form Spurs so they're basically out of the title race as far as, I can, as, far as I'm concerned um it's, it's between me and Man, it's between us and Man City. Realistically, uh, Liverpool might mount an outside chance, but it's um, Spurs. I'll show you for Spurs' form. It's been genuinely ridiculous. Um, oh, that's wrong button, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah, there you go. And finally, they got a win against Bayern, but they hadn't won since the twenty first of February. They basically who scored one goal in the entire month of February, drawing a lot, losing a couple here and there. Yeah. They look, they've been really terrible. Considering they were free scoring in February, they scored one goal. Anyway, back to us. Um, we're a bigger club than them. We've got a bigger reputation than them. It's t our record against Chelsea has obviously never really been that good. Um, I think much like Spurs, Spurs and Chelsea were the two teams that we really kind of struggled to get results against. Until recent times, in recent years, we've kind of turned it around a little bit and had a better... Had a better record against them. Um, I'll show you the past meetings against them. Uh, I think we beat them last time out, didn't we? Yeah, there was a long spell where it wasn't very good, but in recent years, you know, we've beat them four times on the trot now, uh, including twice away from home. Just like to score goals against them: five-one there, three-one there, two-nil, three-one. So scoring goals against them, our record has turned round. It used to be really poor, but in the last few times, we've only really lost once in nine. So, we're a better side. Um, so, the dogs, there's a dog biking outside and our dogs are biking in response. Um, but, yeah. So, um, this is how it's going to go. I don't know if I'm going to play Friday on the right. right I might probably play... Um, you could probably hear that. There's one dog biking outside. And it's causing my dogs to go mental. Uh, gonna play Perez. Um, Chelyak, unfortunately, is injured as well, so I haven't got that back up on the left wing. Uh, right, so Lima, Hughes, Friday, Longello, Davis. So I've got a few injuries there, fitness concerns as well. A bit annoying. Nice to see Ruben Whiteley, though, um, back in the team. Um, I'm probably gonna put him in the head of Silva. Um, He's a young lad, uh, not necessarily the best kind of player, but he's pretty decent for a 19-year-old. He's deep lying forward, and he's been at, out with a broken leg for a while. So I'll probably get him in as an option if necessary. Um, I'm going to have him as a central defender for this one. Full back on support. Yeah, Harvey's back in the team. Condition-wise, we're looking quite good, actually. Deep line playmaker, not don't want fat eye on stocker. No, that is suicide in this game to have both of them. Gotta have Hughes in there, half Hughes instead of Fat I think. Stocker has just been unreal this year. As is Hughes actually, Hughes is looking has progressed so much in the last couple of years. I'm so impressed with him. Gonna have Perez on there. I know it's really two and a half stars, and I know it's really risky risky. He's not looked that great, but you should be okay. Um gonna start Gomez today. I uh, was tempted to play Maya. Actually, I am going to put Maya on the bench. was tempted to play Maya. Um, but I just... Uh, I want to kind of give Gomez a run in the team. Uh, <coughs> we are home as well, so I'm expecting to get a win. We're quite good at home. Make adjustments and instruction. Lovely stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, uh, a win. Uh, you should get a win here. Um, we're we're out there, Man City. We're basically the two of us are the two teams to beat. We haven't lost for a long time. I don't think we've lost since November. 
Um, obviously, they can't play. Um, they can't play Monaghan today. Obviously, can't play against the parent club. Um, uh, Usman's ex Concord, we had him for a little bit. He wasn't very good, but he just seems to move for big money. So don't know why. Do it for the fans. Do it for the fans. Oh, they're oh okay. They're the form team. They're the form team. We got to go out there and raise our game. Then they are the form team. This one. <clears throat> this will be tricky. I didn't realise they were the form team, and they've really obviously jumped up the. They were they were around sort of sixth, seventh earlier in the season. So they're always one of them teams, Chelsea. Just they, they they never seem to mount a serious title challenge all season. They'll have a little bit of a spell and then fall away, or or. Start the season poorly and come back up. Seems it's more the latter this year. Not much happening thus far. Level one possession ish. We've had a couple more shots in them, but not much happening. Ansu Fatty, he's still going. How is old Ansu Fatty now? Thirty five, by me. He's actually still got a bit of got a bit of pace. No, not that fast, but he's quite good balance wise. So Ansu Fatty plays at Barcelona in real life. Young lad, teenager, Hughes. Now, come on, boy. Play, play it around. We've been poor the last two games, I think. Against West Ham and Burnley. Here we go. Go, Mez! Oh. Yeah, been poor the last couple of games. Not look that good. Uh, worryingly so, actually. Uh, we need to win. We need to win today. Uh, I think we're the early kickoff, so there's no, not going to be any other games on. Our goal difference is good. It's not as good as Man City's. It's pretty good, though. We're ahead of, uh, quite clearly ahead of anyone else. But, yeah, an uneventful first half there, really. Come on, boys. Don't want another bloody draw. Better team here. Come on. It's worried it's around this sort of time when the fixtures start piling up and you have a really block of difficult fixtures. You want to try and sneak wins. They've not done much in this game, but neither have we. And we, it's just, uh, we've done more with the possession, but... You've got to be looking at winning these. Come on. Going to ask him to go attack in. Get creative as usual. See if that does anything to them. Stockers having a good game. But it's a bit Naguera again. Off the boil. I haven't really got much of an option really. I could bring on Whiteley or Friday to play in that striker role. But neither of them have really lit the place up. I might just go straight to the attack in formation. Because they're not causing much of a threat at the moment. I might go straight to the attack in one. Uh, I'm going to keep Hughes on, take off Stocker and bring on Friday because Friday can play pressing forward quite well. Perez is a slight concern, but I've got no one really that can play in that right wing position. Right midfield position, I should say. Can Maya do it? Can Whiteley do it? Because he's suggested Whiteley. Oh, Whiteley can do a job. Okay, Whiteley then. I think that was a highlight because I was changing things rather than a genuine highlight. Come on. Get creative again. Nothing happening in this game. Just like the just like the West Ham game, just like the, the Burnley game. We just seem to have just dropped off in terms of creating chances, which is really, really worrying. There was that little spell when we were doing it for fun and we were dominating games. Oh, I've made a mistake there. I gotta try and get him to play attack in here. Nothing's happening in this game. Nothing's happening thus far. Uh, move the players up. Gotta play. Not entirely direct, but hit some early crosses in. I'm not bothered about shooting on sight because that would just cause problems. Yeah, there you go. Blimey, nothing happening. Absolutely nothing yet again. Not making any chances, no clear cut chances, not even any half chances. About all these shots, but God knows where they're coming from. Genuinely, don't know what to do with it with the team when they're in this sort of form. We've had spells like this before where we just go through and just don't score, don't create chances. It's happening again. It's happening again. No good. 2 0 draws on the bounce, and I'm absolutely fuming. What? Polyak has dropped off. We just we just lose one good player and it completely kills the team. Fuming. We're not going to win the league. We won't win the league like that. Absolutely won't. It's happening again. It's happened before. We've had spells. We just don't score goals. And it's happening again here. 
we th that, that West Ham game was effectively a 0-0. I know it was 1-1, but that was after extra time. So in 90 minutes, three games on the trot, we've not been able to score. Genuinely rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. West Ham, Burnley, Chelsea. March has started awfully so far in terms of attacking wise. Guys not putting their weight in, not doing any, not creating any chances. It seems as though since Ben Rabba got injured, I think he was injured was he injured in that game or was he injured in the AZ game? It was the AZ game and got injured. So since Ben Rabba What's happening there? Yeah. Since Ben Rabba got injured, we've not done anything. We've barely created any chances. It's worrying that it takes one player, it, one injury to one player, it messes up the team completely. Disappointing, really, really disappointing. Um, we've got AZ next, which I'm going to show you in this episode. The next episode will be Luton and so on. Yeah, Luton in the FA Cup, another nice draw in the FA Cup. We've been quite the FA Cup's been quite kind to us in the draw in comparison to last year. Luton are a League One team, so we should be able to make it through to the semi final. Friday. Doesn't do much. I'm absolutely yeah. I'm just really uh, upset with the way the team's playing here in the, these games, these big games. We're going to fall off. Our, our title challenge is going to fall away if we don't start winning. When are Man City playing? Playing tomorrow away at Watford. They'll win that. They'll win that. No problem. All right. Uh, we've really got to sort ourselves out. Form has just dropped off. Next game, Champions League. Okay. AZ at home, Champions League, obviously two up from the first leg. Um, I'm thinking today is a good opportunity to um, play the game press tactic. As you can see, our form has been ugh, annoying. Three draws on the bounce. Saying that West Ham draws a nil nil because I think that was after 90 minutes. That was what nil nil. Obviously, defence is good. Um, you know, only conceded one goal in those last four games, but it's just. Attacking wise, we're we're worrying. Um, so I'm thinking today's a good good chance to play um, the Gagan press tactic. Gomez is available though, weirdly enough. So I thought he would. Oh God, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play the Gagan press tactic today. Uh, I'm gonna play Gomez up front because he can do a pressing forward job quite well. I'm not changing the roles. I'm making sure everyone is suited to their roles. Uh, we'll do that. Inside forward, he's fine with Pole. Yeah, can he play inside forward? Hmm, he's gonna have to try. Max Meyer, is he any good at advanced playmaker? Yeah, we'll do that. Friday, he's obviously unregistered, so he can't play. Uh, yeah, put Joe Ward on the bench. Why not? Can't go wrong, can it? We'll go with that. That's the role everyone seems to play. I'm reasonably happy with everyone there. Um, I'm not going to ask for the assistant's advice on this one because I want to stick. I know he, we haven't got the players to fit this system too well. You have to have high stamina, uh, high work rate. Uh, not a lot of these players, not all of these players do. But I just want to try it. I just want to see how it works. Obviously playing Gomez up front today. He can play up front and in the second midfield. Um... Yeah, brand new leg, make sure we win it. I just want to see how it goes. I just want to see how it plays. I'm going to ignore basically most of the advice that he says regards to changing the tactic. If he tries to, you know, say like you've got to mark this player closely, yeah, I'll do that, that's fine. But not in terms of um, changing the tactics. I want to, I want to see how it goes. I'm hoping that, you know, we might not have as much possession, but I'm hoping that we create more chances because we've only created one clear-cut chance in the last three games, which is worrying. And that was that goal against West Ham. To not create any clear-cut chances at home to Chelsea and away to Burnley is very, very worrying. Um, yeah, ease off, Poliak, don't go mental, lad. Again, that might change the tactic. You know, you're not you turn not to go full throttle, but this is the point. It's going to be a little less passy, a little more. What do the, what the Liverpool call it? Like heavy metal, heavy metal football, which I'm for. Here we go, Gomez. Give that away. That's poor from Gomez. That. You should have given it. You got to keep the ball moving. Boy at the top. Here is Perez. Tackles. Okay, these new players not quite cutting it at the moment. Gomez had a really good start, but in the last few games we haven't created anything, and he's uh, supposed to be, you know, that secondary striker. Poljak drops it inside Harvey. Go on, Harvey. 
Chelsea Perez! Jason Perez gets his first goal for the club. Obviously, playing on the wing, uh, playing inside forward means you're going to be cutting in more uh, and being in those opportunities. And he's got his first goal. Lovely finish. 1 0. First goal for a while. <laughs> Um, but there you go, and it comes from comes from the new boy, Jason Paris, teenager, lovely stuff. Is he a teenager or is he 20? Can't remember how old he is. Oh, we've got a free kick here in a dangerous position. Who's on it? Stocker, maybe? Or is it Perez? It's Poyak. Oh, lovely free kick from Poyak, 2-0. He's back to score a 19th goal of the season, which is impressive from a left winger to score 19 goals in March. Um, he's had a few spells out injured, out injured as well, Poyak. Perez, 18. Happy with that. Happy with that. Uh, sorry, I keep checking. I got the cricket on the run there. Um, okay. Uh, 2 0. It were in front control, obviously. It's working at the moment. I I didn't expect it to go badly in this game. I mean, obviously, it's a more of an acid test when you're playing teams in your league. And, but we were 2-0 we up and cruising in this game. So, I, you know, but it's not worked badly at all. We're dominating the game. Uh, yeah, don't get complacent. Just keep going, lads. Keep going. I quite like Gomez to get, get on the score sheet. I quite like Maya to get on the goal sheet, score sheet. But the two wingers getting both the goals, as is Concord, isn't it? Classic Concord, the two wingers getting the goals. Bruce Shin, but he should be able to get through the match, that's fine. Keep him on there then. He's off Maya. Yeah, Maya and Gomez, it's weird. It's whichever formation we play, it's the wingers that are the important ones. And that central attacking line. Here goes Perez. Right, he's cutting inside as he should. He's been tackled well there, but he gets the ball back. Hughes, Perez again. God, Bayern, he can't get past the man. He's been tackled by Van Twice. It's Meyer! Oh! Did they hit a crossbar or went over or something? Close. Free kick here. Paul Yak's already scored a free kick. It's off the post and it's tapped in by Frith. Roy Frith's fourth goal of the season. I think that was saved and then it's come out and Frith has tapped it in for 3-0. All right, lovely stuff. Um, in terms of substitutions, we're looking okay. I kind of want to keep those central guys on and maybe see what, and just persevere with them for now. Um, I'm going to take off Hughes and bring on Davis and I'm going to take off Stocker and bring on Fatai. They can basically do the same job. Fatai is not quite suited to box-to-box, -to -box, but... He can do a job a little bit, so I'll, I'll do that. Just change this midfielder. Stockers obviously had another fantastic game, 8.5. We're 5 0 up, obviously. We're going to go through here. Ajax, uh, Azo need to score five goals in the last 20 minutes. Good luck, lads, and you've not even had a shot yet. Um, I did expect to win this, even whatever formation we play. I think the players are good enough to do it. I just kind of wanted to see what it, what it would look like in terms of creating chances. Looks like it's done the job, hasn't it? How many clear-cut chances have we made? Only one clear-cut chance. That's the thing. I don't know what's going on with the, with the players. I know we've changed a little bit. Obviously, Gomez is new. Perez is new. Um, Friday's obviously new as well. And Chelyak obviously injured, but he's new too. It's going to take some time to bed them in. And obviously, I've already got, I've already got Gomez and Friday on loan for the rest of the season. Fatai. Lovely ball, Perez for a second. Ah, oh, saved onto the post. Should have scored, Perez. Caught on the outside, mate. Don't try and beat him at the near post. Oh, I thought we in. Yeah, this is the most dominant game of Champions League football in this at this level. Hang on, they're gonna get a shot here. They're gonna get a shot here. Oh, they bloody scored. One shot. They had one shot and they've scored from it. <laughs> that annoys me. That annoys me. We have absolutely battered them and they've had one shot towards the end of the game and they've scored from it. And luckily, we've managed to score three before that happened, but there you go. 3 1 the final score, 5 1 on aggregate. Nothing really needs addressing, but I'll tell them it was a good win because did play a different system and 
for, to some what it worked, you know, we had loads of shots, didn't create many chances, but I suppose it's the idea is that you you play the you play the odds instead of with the tiki taka, you're looking for fewer chances but more quality. With this, you're just throwing numbers at the you're playing the numbers game, saying we'll, we'll have we'll have twenty shots, some of them will be will be good chances. So yeah, there you go. Uh, finished three one five one on aggregate. Um, we're through the we're through the first knockout round. There's every no, not every tight in the leg. So Liverpool and Bishy. Who's out then? Spurs beat Bayern. Blimey, that's a big one. Man, you beat Ajax. I thought it was going to be beat Galatasaray. Inter beat Dortmund. Dortmund we beat them in the semi final last year. Madrid beat Juventus. Hmm. Who did we lose to in the final last year? Well, life for me, I can't remember. I know we got battered, didn't we? We just fell apart. PSG, that was it, yeah. PSG, where are PSG? Are they getting on? Are they up poor? So, okay. Get a nice little windfall for that. Well played, Perez. Delighted with him to get a first goal. Well played, mate. There you go. That's today's episode, lads. Yeah, see, Hughes, Hughes is wanted by West Ham for 106 million. Again, if they come in with 106, it's all very good coming out of this. But if they come in with 106, it'd be very difficult to refuse. Um, but there you go. That's that. Ep that's that episode done. Uh, as I said, I'm going to show you every game for the rest of the season. We're at that time of the season where every game is really important. And next is a next week will be massive. Um, we will have uh, Luton and then Man City. Massive games, um, obviously through the Champions League quarter final, which comes a bit later on. But Luton in the FA Cup quarter final, I'd expect to win that. But that Man City game, that would be massive. Um, how do we get on against them away? Can't remember. Where are they? Are oh, we one two one? Yeah, Langello scored, and he loves scoring against them. And then obviously the the home leg we had against them, that the home game against them last year was that ridiculous six four game, which it turned out was very important in the end. But there you go. That's today's episode. Next episode will be the FA Cup and then Man City. I'll see you on the next one, lads. Cheers then.